to start with, you'd think like these look like the faceplate might swap out, but they, it does not. It's just a painted face, which is lame, but what you gonna do, right? I can't get everything. Oh no, where's my magnet? Nah, yeah, this time I'm just, yeah, no, I really should use it. Just, it's good form to consistently use your magnet. With these two screws up here, uh, you gotta kinda like finagle it in there. Just feel for the proper seating. And then just go at it. Uh, and then it's easy. They're just regular tiny Phillips head screws. Nothing major. All right, yeah. That's a small battery. I'm not going to peel it up unless I have to. I just don't know if I believe that that's a 1,450 milliamp. Eh, whatever, why not? I'm a professional, after all. It doesn't say. Oh, right, there we are, there we are. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I knew it. See that 600 milliamp freaking <laughs> liars. Worth it for $15, but yeah, definitely not 1,450. <laughs> Even if you double it and like they try to play it off as oh we got it blah blah blah, it's still worth it, guys. At fifteen bucks, it'll last. I you batteries have weight, and you can tell when something isn't the stated uh, spec. I mean, it's less than half the weight of a one thousand four hundred fifty. So yeah, but. It's a good enough controller, uh, good enough spec battery. I mean, uh, yeah, whatever. Why not, right? Let's see what's holding this in place, if anything. Nice membrane, membrane triggers and shoulder buttons. I like that. That's very good. Oh, no rumble. No rumble. Saves you money. Rumble is a waste. Uh, oh, there they are. One screw there. It's got to be more than one screw, though. Another screw right there. And it might just slide right up after that. Or maybe this weird little spot there is supposed to be rumble. I think it is. I think they have a teeny tiny little rumble in there. Yeah, see? How cute. Teeny tiny little rumble. I guess I'll... Uh, yeah, makes sense to... Um... Oh, yeah, see? It can come off the pins uh, pretty easily. I feel like that's a mark of low quality because like it shouldn't be that easy to pull those off right that one came off at least but i did like more intentionally try to get it to stay maybe there is a battery a screw under here i don't feel one i don't know what's holding it in no there's definitely no screw is it just the i think the USB-C is kind of holding it in there just a little bit. Oh, I'm totally going to end up breaking that. Things are not feeling... Oh, there we go. It was this. This was like holding it in quite well. All right, there we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. It's all contained within there except for this. Uh, see here. Mm. Standard, so you'd have to modify an OEM GameCube to fit on there. 
But, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, potentiometers, obviously. Yeah, I mean, pretty dope. Uh, I'm super into the fact that they have um, membrane triggers. Uh, every, everything's membrane. Everything. Absolutely everything is membrane. Uh, even the system buttons. It's all membrane. That is... That's dope of them. That's that's really good. Um, I I I can't imagine why this cheapy brandless lying <laughs> uh, can oh, look some overspray I guess got in there pink there and green there. I just can't imagine why this cheapy off brand nameless controller is doing better than these $70 imitations. Ah, it's just... Seems silly. But I suppose, to really do this test, you'll need to see the inside of a power A. Hmm. Well, for starters, it's uh, powered by AA, which means you get to choose how powerful your... Uh, how long your battery lasts, which is good. You want that. This obsession with built-in batteries is stupid. And as I <laughs> showed you with this, they can lie. <laughs> uh, name trustworthy brands don't, but... But they can lie is the point. And... Yeah. Anyway, onto this one. Schregler Phillips heads. And uh, they all kind of stayed in the back shell so I didn't need to futz with uh, putting them on a magnet as you can see it's a little good if you've ever seen a uh, OEM GameCube taken apart which you can go to the wave bird comparison to see that um, but it's it's more sim it's much more similar to that uh, where woo, these Go down like that, and then hit a thing. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, that's for the battery. I was like, what are these springs for? Battery terminals. Um, no charge port, because powered by double A's. And, and I mean... Yeah, I can tell you for a fact that it's all membrane in there. There's nothing special on the other side of there. It's it's all membrane. Um, yeah. It's maybe a better membrane. Or maybe the plastic is better. I don't know. But the buttons feel better on, on the Power Ray than on the nameless controller, wireless GameCube. But it's still... Good $15 compared to what? 60 for one of these? I mean, it's $15. It's a quarter of the price. It's totally worth it. 100% it's worth it. I do wish that the face uh, plate popped out, but eh, it doesn't. So it is what it is. Yeah, no, it's really silly that okay, Power A is licensed by Nintendo. This, this controller is. And so it's silly that Hori, uh, no, not Hori, uh, Doyoki and, um, um, Nixie didn't just more closely copy this. <laughs> I mean, oh, this is the closest third party, uh, and it's the only one that I'm aware of for Switch that's licensed by Nintendo for GameCube controllers. So, or GameCube style controllers. So, you know, maybe maybe copy the guys who got licensed by Nintendo. You know, I don't know. Might be, might be a good idea. I got, I gotta tear it down all the way. I gotta. Do I have to take those out? Hmm. Yeah. Screw so many screws. 
There's no reason. Oh, no, they're slightly different. Okay, that, all right, that went there. This one went there. I don't want to take this out. Oh, there we go. Is there another screw somewhere? Hmm. Nope, oh, there's another screw on the D-pad. Why they would have two screws holding in the D-pad, I could not tell you. And now, there we go. Comes right out, easy peasy. Ooh, I like I like that the uh, Z triggers, Z shoulder buttons are attached like that. That's nice. It's beautiful. I mean, it just. It's great. I, I, I'm very into both of these. It's cool seeing this, you know? All right, like, let's see here. See, they're like. These are not, the membranes are not attached to the inexpensive ones uh, board. Uh, they are affixed to this board, except for the middle one. I don't know why they didn't go, just go ahead and affix that one to it, too. But they didn't, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, look. Wait, there is one. There's one micro switch on here. I think that's for the uh, uh, pairing mode. Yeah, the membranes feel great. Uh, oh, there we go. This does. Woo! Ah, uh, it's a screw. I don't know where you... Oh, uh, from the purple board. There you go. Look at that. Easy peasy. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good little controller. I adore it. I like them both. Whenever you have multiple screws, you never want to totally tighten one down until you have the others seated properly. Like on this one, I wanted to see how it felt with just one tightened in, so I just tightened that one down. It didn't feel quite right. But then it was slightly off, so I couldn't get the screw properly in. So then I just had to loosen that one a bit, adjust it, and then I could get this other screw back in properly. And now that both of those are in, you can tighten them down snug, but not too snug, which, you know, what do they say? They usually say, like, get it to snug and then, like, just... Little incy bits, a bit more. With uh, with uh, automotive stuff, it's usually uh, get it snug and then quarter turn more. And you always check. You always check. With cars, you always check later on. I did my starter, right? Yeah, yeah, it was my starter. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy having to crawl under there and tap it while someone started the ignition. But I replaced that. And then uh, not that long later, uh, it started not starting again. And I got under there, and sure enough, the bolts just weren't tightened. They had loosened from vibrations and whatnot. Um, yeah. Torque to spec. Torque to spec. And now, honestly, this isn't really complete without a uh, WaveBird comparison. But I just, I'm not trying to make an hour-long video right now. It's already too long. So, yeah. And all the screws stayed in the uh, shell, which was nice. That's a logical, sensible design. Everyone should be doing that. Woo! Sometimes it sounds bad, but it's a good sound. It's cool because you can, like, see it close the gaps. I, don't know, I always liked that. I broke. Let's see, fiddle. Uh, where is it? It's right there. I'd like to get it out. I don't really want something rattling around in here. There it is. And that broke off. Little terminal connection. It's just rumble, so I don't care. But that doesn't mean I'll leave this side disconnected as well, so that I don't have just one side rumbling. So it's fragile. But if I had been more careful, uh, Taking that off, it wouldn't have been an issue. I wasn't, so it was. Getting this back situated in there. There's tab there and there. You just want to get this 
the board into those tabs, you kind of angle it down, get it into those tabs. Oh, no, got it wrong. It's very finicky. There we go. Sorry that I didn't show it on camera. I just, I had to like get it really close to my face and the eyes to see properly. Uh, except that, no, that's not going in properly. And then you just have to futz with the uh, joystick cap to get it in properly, and then you're in the clear. Feels all right, you can totally play like this. It's a good idea to test, make sure that the lights turn on and that it is in fact functioning before you put things back together. That way you don't have to disassemble for no real reason. Okay, okay. Uh, You should put these in first on the other side. Yeah, which is what I thought at first, but then it seemed like maybe not. And it's real simple. There's just a slot right there that slides into there. This lip right there tucks behind there. It's that's very straightforward. Controller disassembly usually is very straightforward. All right, all right. I couldn't leave you guys without a proper comparison between the uh, modules, you know, it just felt wrong. Got the power ray right here. No oh, stick. Confused about that. The uh, shape is so narrow, though. You'd be hard pressed to find something on the find something on the off market that was that narrow. Compared that with yeah, I mean they're both they're both good modules. Um, they're similar. Definitely not exactly the same, but they're similar. Yeah, both good quality uh, modules. I'm a, I'm a little surprised, honestly. I didn't totally expect it to be <laughs> good quality. Like, I'm a lot surprised because I've bought more expensive controllers that had issues. <laughs> so that these do not have issues is pretty neat. Compared to the off-brand ones that are off-brand GameCube Pro Controller that is like super wide, which is better because you can find smaller notched ones that you can just cut to fit to size. Narrow, harder, because you have to add material to make it fit. Larger than you have, easy. You just make your notch larger and then it'll fit. When reassembling the Power A, you have to make sure that the sync button is in position. Make sure that it's hitting that micro switch. I did not <laughs> ensure that and so I dismantle a remedy.